Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so annoyed! I just made a perfect video, and I accidentally stopped the recording. I Because I typed up photo P, and, and it accidentally stopped the recording. Oh my goodness. Anyways, hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Refresh, back with another banger video. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a DMOD thumbnail logo. So basically, uh, I'm going to make this quicker, because... Because I accidentally stopped the recording again. So yeah, this is my like my second time making this. So let's make let's do this quickly. So I'm gonna go GM on, GM construct. Go to this hallway. Go to this place right here. And then go to this white room. Color it any way anything you want. You can click on the color tool. And then color it anything you want. Then put your camera. Then and then you, uh, make your screenshot. After you after you make your screenshot, go on. Go on Gary's mod. Then click on. Then click on um then left click on your screenshot, then go on manage screenshots. After you go on manage screenshots, click show on disk, and then after you click on show on disk, um it, it should pop up this right here, and then you have all your um screenshots. Just grab um scroll until you see your screenshot, then keep that because after that we're gonna make um we're gonna go on photo p photo photo p. So photo p is basically Photoshop but free. It literally has the exact same thing as photo photo p and it's hundred percent legal, hundred percent free. You don't have to download anything. It's free. All you all gotta do is search out photo p and click on it. Click on the first thing you see. If it um if it if it says if it doesn't say photo p on the uh, so basically just click on photo p. As you get on this site, um click on uh, you can make it, name it anything. Um I'll just say uh thumb nail thumb now uh, yeah i'll just name it thumbnail and then gonna click on youtube color cover then click on create click on create um it may take a while i oh, know because i'm recording right now so then after you do that okay yeah you can see what i'm doing okay that's good okay as you're doing that drag your on um, the screenshot and then drag it um right here onto the on the canvas I said drag it onto the canvas. Okay. Okay, as you do that, boom. Then drag it and then and then match it as um and then all you wanna do is uh drag it into it a stretch a stretch it until it fit um fits the screen. After you do that, you wanna um go on Google and type up Gmod logo transparent in an anime zoom of effect after you do that you want to uh, download the um those two two things i already have one so yeah all i want to do is that i'll show you what to do basically i'll just say gmod logo transparent make sure you put on transparent or dot png it will make it transparent so yeah so i want to do is click on any of these so uh, just go on images and click on and now these, I'll uh, if you just uh, let's say uh, this one, and then click left click on it, then say save image as, and then uh, and then all I want to do on it downloads, um, and then it downloads, and then it should be on your downloads. I click and drag it out of there. So basically, what I'm talking about after after you click on it and download it, um, go to downloads, and then and then it should be here, like G my logo. Click on it. Oh goodness! Why? Click on it and drag it onto your desktop, and boom, you have it. So yeah, that's how you do that, and then that's how you do you do the exact same for the anime zoom get zoom effect. I hope you um got all that because I'm going a little faster because I don't want to do this um, video all over, all over again. So basically, after you do that, you can put um on the zoom anime zoom effect is optional. You don't have to put on that, but um it, it usually it, it gets more views. So yeah. So yeah. Also, um, when you're doing your colors, um, make sure you have like vibrant colors because vibrant colors bring in more views. So yeah, if you are, if you know that already. Anyways, when I click on your anime zoom effect, if you have it, this is for if you have the anime zoom effect. Um, click on it and drag it to until it stretches to the screen. Um, let's put it in the middle and it stretches to the screen. Boom. Um, and then boom. And then you stretch it through there. All right, perfect. Then you want to click on layers. This is the layer option right here. Click on this. Um, click on the zoom one layer, and then click on this, and put it to screen. After you put it to screen, it should come up right here. And after you do that, 
click on click and drag your Gmail logo. Usually it shouldn't have this black barrier. So usually what you want to do because it won't have this black barrier. I just picked one that had a black barrier because I know how to get rid of it. Basically, you want to drag it and click and drag it until you it you like its um size. And click and drag it and it and it put it anywhere you want it for it to put go on. That's what I I do, but um yeah, so that's how it works. But if you have a um I have a black barrier like my, my mine does. You want to click on the eraser tool, click click on the black barrier. Then it says smart object must be realized first. Realized whatever it says. I can't spell it. Um, anyways, click OK. Then click on the magic wand right here. This is magic wand or click W. Then click on the back barrier. Then click delete and then boom, it's gone. That's easy. Anyways, uh, then you want to click on the move tool. It's all the way to the up. On top of this, so yeah, I didn't want to click it and drag it anywhere. So I'm gonna play, play it right here. Then boom, you have your thumbnail. And what I do, I pick, I click on Windows Shift S, and that puts, puts um, it should okay um okay here. It this puts it into snapshot mode. So basically, you want to click and drag it all the way to the corner. Make sure you don't get any black things on it. So click and drag it. You don't, it don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to go all the way. It just if you have it all, almost all of it. So yeah, if I I hope I make sense here because I don't want to do this all over again. I may have to do this all over again because I'm um talking too fast. So yeah, after you do that, you just wait a second, and then eventually it will um pop up here. See it a second. Um, okay, there you go. You click on that, click on it. This is copy the clipboard. It's a pop up right here. Um, and then when it pops up here, um, uh, when it pops up here, click on the save or, or control S, and it should pop up right here, like here. Pop up something. Um, let's give it a second. And boom, and you can name it whatever you want, or you can just save it like a screenshot. I'll just name it um thumbnail, thumbnail or something. So I'll just name it that. Then click save, and then the boom is saved. And then what you want to do after after you do that, you can get rid of this. And then you want to go to uh you want to go to um pictures scroll uh, scroll until you find it it's usually where you scroll down okay right here, here then you find it and then click and drag it and drag it onto your sh um search bar and then boom you have your thumbnail i hope this i um, really hope this um helps you guys thank you for watching if watching if you um did comment foonoof is the best and sp as foonoof and springs man um Okay, no. So if you watch all the way, guys, or watch to the very end of this video, then com comment sub to Funoof and Springsman. So yeah, sub um, slide that in the comment, guys, if you have um made it this far. So yeah, this is how how you make a a thumbnail like kind of like M X Men. So yeah, I hope this um helps, guys. Thank you um for watching. Um, see you later, guys. Bye.